Today is International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Drug Trafficking. Drug abuse and substance abuse is a conversation that we have been having for many years. In the last few weeks, the discussion has been brought to the forefront because of certain lockdown regulations. But for many people, this is an issue that was present in their lives before lockdown and will be present in their lives after lockdown. As professionals, we are often asked why people abuse drugs and substance. Unfortunately, there is no single answer to this question. Some people need drugs or substance to cope with past trauma or to manage anxiety. Some use it to feel confident, some use it to quiet their minds, and some use it to feel joy and escape pain. Drug abuse and substance abuse is not an individual issue. It is a problem that affects relationships, families, and communities. It does untold damage on the individual themselves who is addicted and on the people in their lives. It is a complicated issue with no single solution that fits everyone. And oftentimes, there seems to be very little hope for change. But it is important to remember that no situation is hopeless and that there is a capacity for healing, growth, and change. So today, we invite everyone to start by reflecting on their own relationships with drugs and substance and ask some important questions. What is your relationship with drugs and substance? Why are they in your life? What is their purpose? Do they help you or harm you? Do they harm your relationships? Do they injure the people you love? Who is in control of your life? you or the substance? If after reflection on these questions you realize that you may need help or you realize that someone in your life may need help, please reach out to the resources that you have in your community. Please reach out to resources like Sanka, Alcoholics Anonymous South Africa, Narcotics Anonymous South Africa, Lifeline or SADAG. You can also reach out to any local NGO or community organization. Reaching out for help is the first step. Battling addiction and overcoming it is possible, but it can be a long and complicated road, and professional help and support and guidance is needed, not only for the person battling the addiction, but also for the people the person's life, as trust needs to be rebuilt meaning has to be made, and the process of forgiveness needs to begin. For the person battling addiction, willpower and motivation is needed, but beating addiction is a complex process that has a physical, cognitive, emotional, interpersonal, and spiritual aspect. So today, we invite you to reflect on your life and the role that drugs and substance play in it as big changes start with small steps and actions.